there, fellow enthusiasts! Today we're delving into the rich history and craft of hash, also known as hashish. From ancient civilizations to modern techniques, we'll uncover its origins and how it's made. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this. Now, let's embark on this journey through time and technique. From the ancient traditions to the modern DIY methods, we've got it all covered. Tracing back to ancient civilizations, hash or hashish has been a revered substance for its psychoactive properties. Cultivated in Central Asia around 10,000 years ago, cannabis was not only valued for its fiber and seeds, but also for the potent resinous trichomes on its flowers. This resin was processed to create the hashish we know today, a word derived from Arabic meaning grass. Civilizations like the Assyrians, Scythians, and ancient Egyptians documented the use of cannabis resin, and by the medieval era, it had become a significant part of Middle Eastern culture, especially among Sufi mystics and poets like the Persian poet Rumi. As trade routes expanded, so did the spread of hashish, reaching North Africa, Europe, and the Americas, where it continued to be used both recreationally and medicinally. For those interested in the craft of making hash, starting with the keef is pretty straightforward. You'll need keef, parchment paper, tape, scissors, boiling water, a mason jar, and a towel. Begin by shaping your keef into a tight lump on parchment paper. Wrap it securely using tape to seal and trimming excess paper. Then take a mason jar filled with boiling water and roll it over the parchment-wrapped keef, applying pressure for about 10 minutes. Afterward, freeze it for an hour. Once chilled, unwrap your creation and enjoy your homemade hash. If you're up for a more involved process, crafting bubble hash is your next adventure. You'll need two 7-pound bags of ice, dried cannabis buds, four 25-micron mesh drying sheets, towels, two 5-gallon buckets, a large serving spoon, a kitchen sink with a spraying nozzle, and the mini washing machine. Start by preparing your mesh drying sheets on towels. Then alternate layers of ice and buds in the micron bag and place it in the washer. Add water and mix for 12 minutes, followed by a 10-minute rest. Sift the mixture through stacked bubble bags, spraying the hash through the bags to collect trichomes. Repeat for each bag to maximize yield and allow the hash to dry for up to two days before indulging. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating journey through the history and production of hash. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay curious.